menu looks homemade, which suggests a particular type of restaurant. Despite the flourishes and ornate frames, the menu doesn't convey the sophistication that the restaurant owner desires. There are three main issues here. One, there isn't a focal point. We have a bold and underlined header, three blue bands, two dramatic flourishes, and two large double-stroked boxes. Each of these shouts visually, so collectively it results in visual noise. Likely, you first read the boxes at the bottom, even though you know that the bottom of the page is not a logical place to start reading. This is because those boxes differed the most from the other items on the page. Two, the white space isn't balanced. We have pockets of space at the top and bottom of this menu and pockets in the boxes. White space, like the silence between notes of music, should help direct focus on information. In this menu, the space is carelessly distributed and consequently, awkward tensions arise between the information and the white space. Three, the information hierarchy isn't clear. A menu should allow customers to scan quickly for the type of food, the dish's name, the main ingredients, and the price. This menu demands closer reading than that. It forces you to read each line and follow the chain of dots to a price. The length of each text line makes it even more challenging to scan quickly. Let's look at a redesigned menu that solves these three issues. This menu sends a different message about the restaurant, even though the text is exactly the same. The focal point is clear, the simple blue ribbon with the restaurant name set in Graffolita, a display font. Our eye is then centered to flow down the column of text. The white space frames it, so our eye almost has no choice but to run vertically downwards. The callouts in the margins are a 5% tint of the header ribbon's blue, subtly drawing attention to extra information. These callouts can flexibly be positioned along the edge of the page. Bleeding these off the page eliminates an extra strip of white that would add visual clutter. Each section is easily scannable for food category, the names of dishes, their descriptions, and the prices. Rather than the original menu's Arial, I chose Minion because it conveys more formality and comes with a large family of styles that can help to suggest differences in information hierarchy. Food categories are colored blue and set in small caps with additional tracking. They hold anchored lines that span past the column of text, creating obvious menu sections. The names of dishes are in regular Roman, followed by the descriptions in italics and 80% black, which helps them to appear as supplemental information. The prices are also in 80% black, but set in Roman small caps, which conveys a sense of stability for each chunk of text. Generous space between menu items lets the eye perceive each as a discrete unit of information. All text is centered, which further conveys stability and formality. Although centered type typically requires more effort to read than text aligned flush left, the line lengths here are short enough that it works. And so, without a single flourish, this menu looks elegant. Though containing the same content as before, this menu suggests cleanliness, orderliness, and even a higher price point. With this menu, we expect cloth, not paper, napkins.